Hey, hello. We're taking a closer look at some of WeWin servers. This is what they call the Dash V. It has space for three PCIe cards by eight and two SSDs. This is the uh, Dash P for six SSDs and two PCIe cards. Actually, uh, one of the PCIe slots is by 16. And uh, you will need one of them to use uh, uh, HBA to connect all six the drives. And this configuration is for just a single three and a half inch hard drive. And here you'll see the memory slots and the um, E5 Z Intel Xeon E5 2600 V3 or V4 processors. The um, large fans, uh, which are much more energy efficient than the small fans that you'll find in a 1U server, uh, especially if you have to uh, really increase the fan speed, then these are much more efficient. And in the back, there is the uh, 12 volt bus bar connector. Um, well, it dis disconnects into the cubby, and then the cubby connects into the single bus bar for the V2 rack. If we take this off, then we'll see what's underneath here. The um, BIOS battery, easy to remove. Um, this is an M.2 slot, uh, used to be a MSADA here, a one gig network card for the BMC, but also shared uh, with the operating system. Um, so it's actually two network cards in one. Um, the BIOS is here, easy to remove. You can just take it out. If anything goes wrong, just put in a new one. Uh, the BI8 mezzanine slot, for a network card, 10 gig, 25 gig, 40 gig, one or two connectors. Uh, we, we have a single SATA connector here, but it's also possible to use these two, um, some extra SATA. And the reset and power button and the connector for the debug header. Uh, I have one right here. So this is, uh, you don't need a VGA adapter. Uh, you can just read what's going on with the server before it boots. Uh, you can read from these numbers. Uh, if anything goes wrong, for example, a faulty dim, you'll see uh, that it mentions the, the slot of the faulty dim. So that's like very easy to troubleshoot. Um, I think that's all I can tell, um, but I'll give you some time to look at it, do some close-ups. Okay, that's it. Hope to see you next time.